So today we are going to see how to denoise audio using wavelets, basically wavelet thresholding. So first I have uh, pulled an audio file uh, which is a male voice. So let's first listen what that sounds like. So. We annihilated the world before your very ears. That's basically the sound. Uh, now this is the clean audio and now let me just normalize the power to a certain value. So let's say 0.5 divided by so. We annihilated the world before your very ears. So once that's done, uh, let's add some white noise to it. About 12 dB should be fine. Uh, 12 dB SNR. So. So let's let's hear it again. We annihilated the world before your very ears. You should be now able to hear that there's a lot of noise at this point. And okay. Now once we have the noisy type signal, it's time to use wavelet decomposition and decompose it into the coefficients and the levels. So we'll be using wave deck or wavelet decompose for that. So coefficients and levels is equal to wave decompose of the array, the sound and the number of levels we want in the decomposition and the wavelet that we are using. So I'll be using Dobishi's wavelet, db4 to be exact. Once that is done, once the wavelets have been decomposed, we'll now threshold, soft threshold the coefficients. So let us b is equal to W thresh C and we can choose whether we want to hard threshold or soft threshold. Uh, so I'll be choosing soft threshold because it gives better output characteristics, especially when it comes to audio. Once that's done, and once again, the, the threshold value. So let us for now let's select 0.1 as the threshold. Now once that's done, the values will get thresholded and then we'll reconstruct the audio using wave rec. So let us say y as the output is equal to wave rec of b l the levels, the uh, levels uh, and the coefficients and once again the wavelet that we use for the decomposition so db4 the Dobishi's wavelet once that's done I'm gonna once again normalize the power 2.5 divided by 0.5 divided by RMS of y and now we can hear the final audio We annihilated the world before your very ears. So this uh, threshold can be changed depending on the requirement how much you want to denoise. By increasing the threshold will increase the denoising power. We annihilated the world before your very ears. We annihilated the world before your very ears. So that was the denoise audio and uh, now let's compare what the sound before and after are. So I'm going to pull up the plots here. These are the plots of the noisy and denoise audio. 
figure one is the one with noise and figure two the, is the one which has been denoised. So we can look at the gaps between the speech here, here and see come. When we look at the corresponding figure, we can see that the noise has been greatly diminished. We can uh, pick any spot. Let us look towards the end. There was some noise that would have been towards the end in the original signal and that has been diminished as well. Of course, those were just the spots where the noise was visible, but the signal has also been denoised all over.